Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new currently unreleased Western Rampant Rocket, which is coming with the Casino and Resort DLC. And this bad boy is going to cost you $925,000 on release because at the time of recording this video, this is currently unreleased. And just take a look at it, ladies and gentlemen. This looks amazing. Really, really cool. Um, technically not really a motorcycle, it's more of a trike or a tricycle, uh, but it is in the motorcycle category and it is the only motorcycle, air quotes, the only motorcycle um, released with this DLC and it looks amazing, it looks so cool just from stock, hopefully we can do some cool customizations to this but we're going to find out, so without any further ado let's get on with it. So 100% body armor, race brakes, uh, engine. So we'll get the cho choice of air filters. So it's going to change the top, of course. Uh, so we've got the the blower at the front, and then we've got the filters, and then the big bug catcher, and then we've got the triple bug ca bug catcher. To be honest, man, I think the, the the double looks better. I think the triple kind of overkills it a little bit. To be honest. Um, that looks okay. It looks pretty good. The oval bug catcher, uh, the the filters, in my opinion, just look, you know, underwhelming. They look a little bit shite. Uh, the stock one, it just looks the best. That looks overkill, like I said. So I'm gonna stay stock for the um, air filters, unfortunately, because it would be cool to be able to actually change it up a little bit. Um, but in my opinion, I just don't think any of them look better than the stock version so anyway we're going to go to the level 4 engine upgrade grab that then we're going to skip the horn we've got the lights headlights oh damn they're under there i was wondering where they were but that's where they are and we're going to get the xeon headlights then we've got liveries sweet so we do get liveries on them um, on this which is pretty cool real cunts yeah baby the real cunts just because of that i might have to go with that without looking at any of the others these are pretty cool. Tackles out. <laughs> Seaman specials. Man, what is going on with these liveries? I love them. You've got the Lost MC, which is pretty cool. I like I like that. That's a nice touch. So you can make a Lost MC motorcycle or tricycle out of this. Man, these liveries are cool as fuck. I love them. Really like all of them. That's going to be... But it's got to be out of the real cunts and... Spit roast Sundays. <laughs> oh man. I was going to say it's out of these two, you know, but I think it's got to be the tackles out just because it's funnier. <laughs> got Spit roast Sundays, and you also got Try Our Semen Specials. And just because of that, oh, I'm going to purchase that livery. That's got to be done, man. Uh, but anyway, we're going to skip the plate. Then we've got the respray, primary color. We're going to go classic. Should we go classic or should we go matte? I think a matte color might actually look pretty cool on this. Uh, so we're going to go matte. And it's got to be like a matte. Matte white actually looks pretty sweet. Or the light gray looks cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to go matte light gray for the primary. Secondary, I'm going to go matte also. Um, but for this one, I might grab black. I don't think there's any livery on the bottom part, that which, which we're not going to be able to see. Oh, except for that little bit there. I'm not sure what it says, though. Um, let's see what white looks like. White looks pretty cool. Um, but I think black actually looks better. So we're going to go matte black for the secondary color. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get the super transmission. Obviously, get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, we can change. Oh, just the tyres. So we can't actually change the rims. Um, and that's just for the bulletproof tyres and the tyre smoke. But don't need to worry about that. And we ain't got no windows to tint. So that is it. So not crazy amounts of customizations on this, unfortunately. Um, the only noticeable, fi noticeable things you can change, really, are the things I, I, I've gone through, which is obviously the paint job, the livery, and um, the, uh, you know, the, the big block. On top um, so it's a little bit of a shame that there's not more customization but this livery makes up for that that is fucking amazing I love <laughs> I love what what they've put on this livery it's so funny um, 
The Real Cunts was another good one as well, but it's because these had just too. This was just too funny. It just had to be. T it just had to be chose. Um, but the fact we can get a super transmission on this as well makes me think that this is going to be mega fast. So we're about to find out. Um, I think maybe it might be an idea if I get rid of the traffic. So I'm going to quickly just do that. And just like magic, they're gone. So now we've got clear roads. We can actually, you know, try and push the limits a little bit with this and see what it can do. I don't hold any high hopes for its handling. It's, I reckon it's going to be pretty poor at going around corners because you can't really lean into anything uh, and it's very long but it's got to be quick it's got to be quick so let's find out and it is really quick that is so quick that is nuts and she's that's actually got really good traction as well doesn't want to roll you can I'm going full lock on these as well and let's turn them really nicely I think it's going to struggle going around corners at uh, speed. Just try around here. And actually, it's not that bad, to be honest. Really fucking slow at reversing, obviously, because it hasn't got reverse gear because he's pushing it back with his feet. Um, you see, that's full, that was full lock, full throttle, and there was no wheel spin. So the traction on this thing is immense. Really, really good. Really quick. I'm actually really enjoying um, riding this. It's really nice. So it's really quick. Traction's really good. Um, the cornering isn't actually too bad. It actually feels quite light. Um, not as light as, you know, a, a car. But for what for what this is, which is a long ass trike, it's actually really easy to handle. And I say that, and then crash. Um, but what I mean is, is I don't think that it's amazing to handle, but for what it is, it is actually really good. It's just so long. It's got a, the turning circle of a fucking bus. It's so long. Um, but going around sort of like the smaller bends, it's like that. It, it, it does it quite nicely. So if we go around this one, it holds it in. Obviously not full throttle around there, but in full lock on the turn. And it, it does pull it off and it was at a decent speed as well. Um, but if you want to make a sharp turn, you're going to struggle. But you can't expect much from this anyway in, in regards to it, its its turning circle. Because just look at it. Fucking look at the size of it. And look where the wheel is as well. And it's just the one wheel. And look how much it turns. Not much at all. So, yeah. Everything, everything else except for taking you know tight turns. It's really good at it. See that turning circle was really big, but it's fast. It's actually quite responsive. If you sort of like, if you're flying down the road, and you want to go left, right, left, right, left, right, you know, it doesn't spin out. It holds to the to the ground. It's just that actually feels really good. It's good fun to ride. I kind of don't want to finish. I just want to keep riding it, just round in circles. And it's cool that I can take away the cars as well because. It just gives you a little bit more um, space and freedom to just fucking razz it down the street without worrying about crashing into some dickhead or some dickhead crashing into you. Uh, but no, nah, man, it, I love it. I actually really like this. I'm riding this with a big smile on my face. So this is definitely going to be one for um, the purchase list once it's released into GTA Online. Because I, I'm really digging it, man. I'm actually really enjoying it. <laughs> How much was it again? Let's have a quick look. Sorry, I'm just checking my notes. So it is $925,000 on release. Um, which I don't think it's that bad. I know it's no supercar. It's, you know, it's no high-end muscle car or anything like that. But what it is, is a crazy-ass trike. And it's good fun to drive. And I'm actually really enjoying it. And it's unique as fuck as well. The, other, the only other trope we've got in the game is a piece of shit. In the motorcycle category, that is. And um, this actually definitely trumps it a million times over. And I'm actually really, really happy with it. It's a little bit of a shame that there isn't more customization. Um, but other than that, that's the only real flaw in this. And the turn circle. But you can't really 
fault the turning circle because you if you're expecting it, anything else of it, you you know you're fucking crazy. But yeah, man, I can't really fault this. It's a, it's awesome for what it is. It is amazing, and I'm really happy that it's going to be in the game at some point. Um, yeah, and it's a pretty reasonable price for what it is as well. So um, it's just nice to have a unique vehicle in the game. Um, I'm just sick of supercars. All these supercars that are released, just stop. There's so many in the game already, and they're all the fucking same. You know, they're just like little tweaks of, of the last one they released, which is, you know, it's just what it is. I mean, Rockstar obviously make trying to make money out of the game, which is like nearly fucking six years old or whatever, but this is what we need. More muscle cars, more trikes, you know, like drag trikes like this. Just crazy shit, man. This is what we need, like old school fucking cars and yeah man <laughs> this is just what we need fuck supercars let's hashtag that hashtag fuck supercars in the comments <laughs> uh, but anyway guys I, I think I'm going the video there I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios